What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brendan, and I'm Bman X45, and today we're coming at you with another uh, box opening video for Star Wars Legion. We are opening some of the expansions that just came out um, for the new wave of Separatist and clone factions, as well as some support to Rebels. So here we got our commanders, our Grandmaster Yoda and Super Tactical Droid, and we have our IG-100 Magna Guards and the Wookiee Warriors for the Republic, as well as uh, an update for um, Rebel. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into this. We'll take a look. This will be one of my first Legion videos. I um, haven't had a lot to do yet. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing some games in the future to go up on the, uh, the Scrubbing Out series. Um, so cut these open here. Take a look what's inside. Let's go with uh, Super Tactical first. Super Tactical is actually more expensive than Yoda, which I find it's kind of funny because they've never really done that with Commanders. Um, you know, so we'll have to see like what makes him worth the added cost there. So you got your sheet there, it shows you how to assemble and the different poses that you can do. Um, basically, give you the different options. Anyways, um, and then you get your, it's a pretty simple build, pretty simple scalp. We're gonna look at here is the cards. See what you get with the cards. So you get your super tacticals. Um, they too will suffer. Uh, it's pip one card. To start your command phase, your opponent must choose one of their units with an order token if able and return it to their order pool. So. That's pretty good. The first time your opponent would draw a random order token from their pool this round, you may force them to draw a token with a rank of your choice instead. Hmm. Cool. Basically get to choose how they're going to go. Preservation protocols, two droid troopers and or AI units. That's pretty good. Um, when a super tactical droid issues an order to a droid trooper with the AI uh, with AI, it gains disengage and impervious and one dodge token. So that's kind of interesting. And then do not underestimate our means. Pip three, three droid troopers or AI units. Uh, this card was not divulged at the start of the activation phase. Choose up two friendly units uh, with face up order tokens. Each shown unit recovers. So the divulge is uh, choose up to three friendly units with AI each. Uh, chosen unit gains reinforcements so it's kind of cool and then you have your you got three different commander cards because uh super tactical droid is has different names under the uh under the thing so you got the generic one you got kalani which is one of the more popular and kraken so each of them has strategize Although um, Kalani has Strategize 2, which you gain one Suppression Token to choose up to two friendly units uh, at range 1. Each chosen unit gains one Aim and one Dodge Token. So, uh, that's, uh, and that's two, so it's like, uh, yeah, so you get two, and then with Strategize you just get one. So it's better on Kalani because you get two for one for getting the Suppression. Um, although droids can't be suppressed, so eh. Gains, eh. And then you got the direct AI unit. During the command phase, you may issue an order to a friendly unit with AI at range 1 to 2. So that's kind of cool. So instant uh, uh, synergy there. And then it's got, re there's this is where it gets different. Um, Sharpshooter 1 and 2. Sharp on both the named ones, it's got Sharpshooter 2. Um, it's got reinforcements. You may deploy uh, after all units without reinforcements have deployed. So it just lets you deploy at the end of the deployment step. Um, and then override one. When a friendly unit at range one activates, you may gain one suppression token. 
if you do that, you're going to ignore it. So override overrides the A. And, and of course, uh, Kraken's better because he's got override too. And they have different attack things. So Kraken's got a really sick melee called Overwhelm. Um, and he's got two black dies for his blaster, whereas Kalani's got a black and a white. And then the regular Super Tactical has got uh, a a red and a white and the difference in points is negligible it's 100 for either Kalani or Kraken and only 95 for the generic um, and actually he's got a better I think he's got a better attack loadout than Kalani uh, looking at that because he's got two black melee and a red white range one to three so yeah um, definitely if you're doing a melee build this guy and they both got they all got surge to hit or surge to crit with Kraken, plus they got uh, Lethal 1 and Pierce 1. Cl uh, Kraken's got Pierce 1. They all got Leth Lethal 1 on at least either. The other guys got it on their uh, blaster attack, whereas uh, Kraken has it on his melee attack. And that's while attacking, you may spend one aim token to gain Pierce 1. So it just gives them Pierce 1, plus he's got Pierce 1 already for his blaster. So, eh, pretty pretty good I, I i feel like it's pretty good um and then of course um you have your upgrade cards not quite sure what we get for upgrade cards there i kind of wish they would have given you enough stuff in this to create at least two so actually well, i guess you can only run one super, super tactical droid so you can't have um because he's got a he's a star beside his name so regardless if it's Kraken or Kalani, you can only run one. So I guess there's no point in giving you more than one uh, scalp. Um, nothing new. Hacked comms unit. I don't think that's new. Into the phrase looks like it's new. Um, when an enemy unit at range one activates, you may gain one surge token. Portable scanner's not new. Hacked comms unit might be. Um, during the issue or step, command phase after an enemy unit range one is issued an order, you may issue an order to yourself if able. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. No, oh, decent, decent loadout. So now we'll look at Yoda here. Yoda, I'm really excited for. They give you multiple pieces, so I think you can do up to two sculpts um, with Yoda. So you can have two different uh, uh, looking Yodas with the stuff that you get. And they do that by giving you two bases. So that's really cool. Um, so you get your Yoda here. Shows the different things you can do for him. Um, I'm definitely doing that one because that one's awesome. And I'll probably do the other lightsaber with the force if I'm able to do that. Um, if it has the right amount of pieces. Leaping pose, saber and force use option or cane and force option. So pretty cool there. And then you have the cards again. Um, I'll just go through the upgrade cards. Burst of speed, that looks new. Um, at force power at the start of your activation. Uh, treat your maximum speed as three until the uh, end of the round. If you do gain one immobilized token at the end of the round. So that's kind of... If E force barrier is not new, force lift that's new. Um, when you deploy, you may place a barricade at range one, uh, choose a barricade at range one, and move it within range one and height one of its current positions. So you get to move a barricade to where you want at the beginning of the game into the fray again. And protector is a new one. While using guardian, you can cancel crit results as though they were hit results uh, during the end phase. They ready this card. Sounds cool. So that's the upgrades for them. And then you got your command cards. You got your Yoda. Yoda gains jump one, charge, or jump. One charge, disengage, and treats his maximum speed as three. Ooh. Um, during his activation, Yoda can perform any of his uh, act like upgrade card actions or anything on his card, uh, up to two times. Uh, if there, if there is no try, if there is, if there is no try, oh gosh, it's so hard to read. If there is no try in, 
no try is in your if there is no try they should really put like quotations on that if there is no try is in your discard pile return it to your hand um so it's kind of cool and then there is no try yoda one trooper unit um when yoda issues an order to a trooper unit it gains out maneuver and relentless Ooh, that's good uh, and one dodge token. If luminous beings are we is in your discard pile, return it to your hand. So basically, whatever one you use first, um, whatever cards you used first, you can get back later on. And then uh, luminous beings are we uh, each eligible unit, which is nuts. Um, Yoda gains two aim, two dodge, two surge tokens. He cannot attack. Friendly units at range one to three can spend Yoda's green tokens. If size matters is not in your discard pile, uh, return it to your hand. Or if is in your discard pile. So, And then you have um, size matters sometimes, which is the new Chewbacca, because you get a Chewbacca card with this. If Chewbacca is at range one uh, of a friendly Yoda, you may place that Yoda in base contact with Chewbacca. If you do, Yoda cannot perform moves and after Chewbacca moves place Yoda in base contact with Chewbacca while Yoda is in base contact with Chewbacca Chewbacca gains deflect you can spend Yoda's dodge tokens and rolls red defense die when defending or using guardian so it's kind of cool uh and then that's so that's your command cards and then of course you have your Yoda it's got guidance 200 big 200 points uh, choose another friendly trooper unit range one to two that unit may perform a free non-attack action um, Ataru mastery can perform up to two attack actions after you perform attack action gain one dodge token after you defend gain one aim token while defending against a ranged attack if you would spend a dodge token the attacker suffers one wound for each uh, surge ro rolled and then immune to pierce master of the force two um yeah, and then, of course, he's got melee four, red, impact two, pierce two, and he's got force blast, range one to two, five, or four black blast and suppressive. So, got, yeah, impact. Of course, you got blast, ignores cover, impact uh, two while attacking a unit has armor, yeah, pierce two, cancel up to two dodges and suppressive. Yeah, I gave him the extra suppressive token. So, really, really strong. And then you got Chewbacca here uh, in your operative Chewbacca for Republic. Uh, in Rage 4, if you have four more wound tokens, um, your courage is treated as blank and you gain charge. Guardian 2, a wall friendly commander at unit range 1, or in line of sight, is defending against a ranged attack. You may cancel up to two the results for each result canceled, rolled one defense die, convert any surges, uh, and then suffer one wound for each blank result. So, and then reliable two at the start of the activation phase, gain two surge tokens. That's kind of really cool. Scale, hit to crit, uh, four red for attack, and two red, two white um, for your bowcaster. Critical one, impact one, pierce one. So, 90 points, 290. Just to, just to play, <laughs> just to play these two together. That's like half your list. And that's without upgrades, so that's kind of, that's nuts. Um, but yeah, otherwise really, really cool. Um, I'm going to end the video right here for now, just because it's been about uh, almost 14 minutes. It's been 14 minutes now. Um, we'll do another video where we will showcase uh, me going into these. Um, but just the commanders already look really strong, uh, really fun builds and different options you can do for your army so i'm really excited uh that i got this stuff i think the uh super tactical droid is really what separatists needed uh, in a good low cost commander um we've really been in a bad place for separatists having too high powered commanders that were focused too much on force powers or saber abilities and uh, when we got the regular tactical uh commander that was good but it still wasn't anything super special so the super tactical droid could be like the Leia or the Rex um, of this faction. So I'm, I'm really uh, excited to see how well it performs. And of course, I'm really excited to put Yoda on the board and just do shenanigans. Um, so 
Tell me what you guys think of the video. If you like it, uh, drop a comment down below. Um, tell me what you think, what you like. If you like these videos, these box opening videos, hopefully we'll be able to showcase some more Legion stuff for you in the future. And uh, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and, uh, and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. That's all for now, folks.